Hey, what's up guys? I have a review, an app review for you guys today, which is the Free Memory Pro. This application is extremely useful. So if you guys have a Mac, I strongly recommend that you download this application. Now, basically what this application does, it frees up memory. And you might think like, doesn't the computer do that by itself? Well, it does, but it doesn't do it very efficiently. And I'm gonna explain like the whole memory concept if you guys don't understand like the memory concept. So pretty much what memory, hold on, let me actually open. The activity monitor since everybody has the activity monitor you can actually just look in here well right now I'm running a, a lot of applications as you guys can see I'm running Final Cut Pro screen flow to re for recording this I'm actually even installing VMware fusion I'm actually installing um, Windows 7 to run a few applications and I'm running all these applications so as of right now okay let's look at the um, the memory that I'm using I have 3.18 gigs of free memory right now wired I have 1.4 um, gigs of wired memory and basically what the wired is is basically the the memory that is where the operating system is on and inactive I have three gigs that are not being used I mean active three gigs that are being used inactive I have 377 point or it's changing 300 let's just say 400 megabytes of inactive and basically one what happens look just look at this chart so let's say the green completely runs out because I'm running a lot of applications and what ends up happening then that it's going to start using the virtual memory. So the virtual memory, it says that it has 280.39 gigs, which is actually the hard drive. So as soon as the green runs out, what's going to end up happening, it's going to start using the hard drive as actual memory. And that's what creates the lag because you're going to be constantly accessing the, the, the hard drive to access your files, but, but you're also accessing the hard drive for the memory for the applications that you're running. So that in, in return, is going to cause lag. So let's say for instance now that I'm running all these applications, right? So I have 3.18 gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna start closing some apps. Um, I'm gonna start closing Safari. I'm gonna close this one here. I'm gonna close Twitter. Um, I'm gonna close iTunes. I'm gonna close Final Cut. And I can't close ScreenFlow or else it's gonna stop recording. Um, but as you guys can see, look, it was able to free up 4.71, right? And this is, this is a normal process that it did by itself, by default. Now, if we were to free up even more memory just by clicking free memory, let's see how much more it can get. It takes a while to free up the memory. As you guys can see in the chart, it's actually filling it up even more, making it more active, and then just clearing it all together. So as you can see, look, the memory just went away completely, and now it was able to free up maybe another 500 megabytes. So I'm back up to five gigs of free memory so without this application I mean I would be missing those 500 megabytes so it's a great application I strongly recommend it for people that are doing video editing or are really pushing their their Mac um, to its fullest and also another neat feature of this that in the in the settings you can actually make it um, let's say for instance like you hit 20 megabytes for instance in this and it's gonna auto free the memory for you so you get that extra boost and you don't have to like really do it you don't have to like actually keep track of it. You can, it will just do it for you. And obviously you can change it. And there's different settings for changing like the icon. You can change the pie size, the I mean the pie color. So if you don't want to see that in color, you could have it in mono, as you guys can see. Or you can just change it to a simple um, just a little icon so it doesn't get in the way if you don't want it to be too colorful. Um, so I strongly recommend this application for anybody that's... Um, pushing their Mac and doing a lot of multitasking. If you have four gigs of RAM or you don't have that much RAM on your computer, this is definitely, this, this could definitely help you out. Um, one of the things about this application, it's a dollar and I say it's a well spent dollar and I strongly recommend it. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll catch you guys later.